The reason that I'm here right now is mostly due to my parents. From a very young age, they instilled in me and my siblings a strong sense of needing to use your talents and your education for making some positive change in the world. My parents ran the robotics team, and my mom also started this club called Girls on the Run for supporting girls in education and self-esteem. They sacrificed a lot of their time so that we could have better opportunities. The constant cheerleaders in my life, that is really the best part about it, is that they're always there for me. When we first heard about being Parents of the Year, we were so overjoyed and you know you get awards throughout your life but this one was something that we did together that represents the highest priority of our lives which is our children. I'm the youngest, three of us. My parents both left Cuba when communism came and their parents decided hey this is this is not you know going the way that that we want. They left it all behind. I am number two. All four of us lived in the house. We lived also with a multi-generational home. I went to college at the University of Florida. Uh, I studied chemical engineering. And I studied chemical engineering as well. In fact, that's a little bit how we met. Actually, we met about five different times. And then we found out we were both chemical engineers. So I run the operations for a plant that's here in the Houston area. While we were working, uh, we got our MBAs. We grew up in South Florida, I mean, from very humble beginnings. And so uh, for us to go to college, uh, was was a stretch and HSL was a very was a key part of that for us. I received it, my brother received it, my sister received it, all your siblings received it. I mean it was a uh, it was it was all talked about. It was like that's what you needed. <laughs> it's the one scholarship that we when our children were graduating we're like HSF. Yeah. <laughs> so Isabella, she studied biomedical engineering. She's about to finish right now. She's a senior. Her dream right now is to go to medical school. Annalise is our second daughter and she is at George Washington University. When we moved to Singapore, she started getting very interested in government because it was a very, very safe place. And so that really enticed her to kind of, how do people live in other places? I'm Christian Barinaga. I'm currently at a strict Jesuit college preparatory. I'm a senior and I'm looking to study electrical engineering next year. I think we were, yeah. we were involved from a very young age with yeah. their schooling. Through the elementary and middle school years, we were very involved. In high school, we kind of backed off a little bit and that was conscious because we wanted this would be figure okay this is then time their time to form themselves and kind of drive themselves we don't we don't, we don't want to be the, the helicopter over them HSF uh, when we went to college we were on the receiving end financially it was key for us we've actually been fortunate to be on the supplying end financially now as well too and that's very special to us to be able to to pay it forward HSF is super important to me and I know it is to you as well because it is a way for us to stay connected to our roots. Uh, it's very easy for our children to lose that connection to their heritage. So HSF is another way for us to keep that alive for them. You even have a, an extended family of HSF members that are also here to support you through education and through a successful journey forward. HSF not only has helped me financially um, in college, but also has helped given me the support to be able to navigate the professional world. Career support has been very important. This summer I'll be interning at Boston Consulting Group. We've benefited a lot from being able to see what other Latinos in our generation are doing and hope to do and how we can all together change the Latino narrative. It means being part of a community of other hardworking Latinos, getting to learn from them, learn from mentors, and it's exciting. I'm very proud of the way that they have gotten to who they are today. They have their strong commitment to their morals and to their values and also have the strong commitment to education and to giving of what they have to others. And I'm incredibly proud of them for that. My mom, she works, she helps take care of us, she takes care of my grandmother, but she always gives us her full attention. And my dad too, my dad, he also is always 100% there. I really hope to be like them as I grow older. Being around them with that mentality of challenge is good, new experiences are good. Seeing that in them is one of the things I'm most proud of as their daughter. Thank you, Mama and Papa. Te quiero todo, todo mi corazón. Thank you, HSF.